What's up guys, it's Trickster Artistity here bringing you Long Gone Days Demo. What? Now, I've seen this game a bunch of times on Game Jolt and it's on Featured as well, but there have been, I don't know, less p- like, and this outright confuses me because this is a game where you play as a soldier commanding other people and basically you manage the entire troop and it borrows various veins from not only RPGs but also shooters, puzzle, puzzlers, anything of the sort. So, what I, what I, um, what I like about this game is that its art style is plenty awesome, actually, and it takes a lot of veins from various stuff, and surprisingly, no matter how good the game footage is, or, and, or anything I've seen from the screenshots or anything like that, no one famous seems to be doing this. In fact, they're just probably outright neglecting it as if it was some just random kid down the street that is worth kind of nothing. And to be honest, let's check out the extras. How can you possibly ignore a game with fan art like this? I mean, guys, this these fan art in the in the in the extra screen like look at this shit look at this shit dude don't like how is this not recognized by any other famous YouTuber ever because nobody has ever made a video on this and it's sad so you know what I'm gonna try to rectify that and actually make a video about it so let's get started shall we. This story is a work of fiction. All characters in this game are fictitious. Any resemblance to actual events or persons, living or dead, is entirely coincidental. Common knowledge. What is common knowledge? From the day I was born, it was decided that I'd be a sniper. As soon as I could talk and understand orders, my training started. It was the same for every single one of my brothers. Or, so I thought. Because of this, I grew up believing that the things were taught to me at the Corps' army were things everyone knew about. Knew about, God damn it! But, who gets to decide what is important to know? As I was growing up, knowing anything about things like history or even how a family usually functions seems like complete waste of time. Meanwhile, learning how to control my breath and how to move my fingers accurately were far more important. When you have been spoon-fed with limited choices your whole life, you don't really question the stuff given to you. You just assume it's normal. But what use are those things I was taught during the past 22 years if I was never taken away from the battlefield? If it wasn't for the events in the past few days, I would have never questioned any of these things. Day 1. Service Academy inside the core. Alright, let's get started. Alright, let's continue. The first thing you should remember when you cross the border is that you were in Russian territories, even though if it's separated. It, oh, it, uh, shit. The first thing that you should remember when you cross the border is that you'll be within Russian territories, even though it's separated from the mainland. Normally, I teach a thing or two about speaking with the locals, but in this particular op operation, any kind of communication with outsiders is strictly forbidden. Do not even tell them the name on your dog tags. Is that clear? Tomorrow I'll be sent on deployment for the first time. I wasn't supposed to go, but their previous sniper broke his arm and I was transferred to the squad as a last minute replacement. You should also note that it is currently summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Those of you who have already been deployed at least once will appreciate the, the fact that summers in Kaliningrad range from 55 degrees Fahrenheit to 700 degrees Fahrenheit, but it still rains just as often as in any other season. Now, I'm a Celsius person, so, you know. 
Anyone in the comments below, come convert that shit. Cause I'm not that kind of guy who has Fahrenheit's for normals, so. Call me a pleb, but this is, eh. As you'll be representing the Polish army, a zero tolerance policy towards misconduct will be in order. Is that clear? I wish I had more time to prepare, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do a good job like this. Perfect work! Yes, sir? You can find the briefing with the rest of your notes. If you have any doubts, you'll just ask someone in your squad. Thank you, sir. Okay, that's all from me. We're counting on you, soldiers. You're dismissed. Information about the core and operation for Grolia have been added to Works Notes. You can access the notes tab from the menu. Alright, so this is where we actually get moving. So we're controlling his Rourke, who is this scrawny ass looking motherfucker over here. Uh, let's see. X's menu, there we go. Items, energy bar, sniper rifle, RNG, items, skills, in Shindri shop, which uses bullets. Status. Hmm. Okay, Rourke. Rourke is a sniper from the core. While he isn't very social, he knows how to persuade others for his own benefit. Traits. Sarcastic, creative, and impulsive. Yeah! Traits of a main character in the war. That's all right there. All right. The core. The core is an extensive straight look, uh, extensive state located, strategically located below the surface of the Earth. It is currently governed by Lieutenant Eugene Weisner under a stratocratic system. The Corps is proud to be able to offer its citizens with uh, an environment other than except for poverty and unemployment and more importantly, absolutely safe from the threats of service while raising the generations that are capable of keeping the as an only, as the only true self-sufficient state. Okay, Donald's are Polish and Kalingrad, yeah, rather than items. Complete Polish Army Combat Uniform and a new set of weapons according to Poland's requirements. Chris Vegas and and two locked entries since it's a demo. Well then. Alright, let's check for the options. Still the same as in the menu. Let's interact. Go to the crane grounds or continue exploring. Let's continue exploring first. Uh, let's check through. Yeah, let's save our progress first before we do anything particularly stupid. So, for now. I think we'll go to the training grounds because that will give us an explanation on the controls. There we go. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of people, but before we actually get into training, let's talk with some of them. Even though he's not shooting, I should leave him alone. Alright. He's training, I should bother him. I'm checking something. Oh, checking something. Can you use the bird boots instead? Okay. She seems to because I didn't think she'd even hear me. Oh, she's pretty good. Okay. Let's start basic training. Oh. Hey, Roar. Uh, hi. I noticed you were, you were about to train with the basic targets. Why didn't you activate the advanced ones? To be honest, I don't remember how to use them. Really? Just enter your console and say advanced mode. It's pretty simple. Forget me, they won't attack you. It would be ridiculous to have something like that. By the way, you should try these bullets. In Shendry, bullets have been added to the inventory. Yay! Oh, thanks. Alright, so this is where the battle mechanics begin. Most enemies set multiple spots you can aim at, and every spot has different stats. These stats can be seen during target selection. Certain spots, like the head of the body, will instantly head in the fight if their HP reaches zero, while aiming in other spots can give you an advantage in battle, like lowering the enemy's evasion. Use any kind of special bullet, acts like the skill of The icon next to the skill represents the cost. The top number is how many items you need, and the second number represents how many old. Alright, works up first. Now, I only got one city shot, so I won't, you know. Black. Base. Ah, fuck. Alright then, body shot. Oh wait, no, leg shot. Body shot. Not 
everybody shot. Headshot. Damn it. Headshot. God damn it. Come on. Shooting at your arms. Enemy A has been defeated. Alright. He did. Headshot. Shot your leg. And then I'll shoot your arms. Then I'll shoot your face. Fuck. Fine then. I'll shoot your leg again. Vision has been lowered. Yeah, basically, if you shoot a bunch of stuff, it'll have certain effects. So basically, oh, uh, hey, you can use the bills I gave you. Hey, we gotta go now. I mean, it's just remotely tomorrow. Oh, she, oh, so she's my spotter, Brana. Wish she could have said so from the beginning. Maybe we're good idea to take a shower and sleep soon. And it says it's been added to Rourke's notes. So basically, the aim system revolves around the fact that uh, certain body parts will render will render um certain effects. Like for example, a shot out the legs, and therefore the enemy has been disabled from the body from the legs up, so they so they can't evade as well. Did you know? You can update your info from this screen. Oh, okay. Man, good luck replacing Koa. That guy can shoot from Prim from miles away. I'm a fairly competent sniper too. Yeah, once you see me on the battlefield, I'm totally gonna rock your world. This is the greenhouse. Must our food grows there. I could swear someone the meter is moving. Let's not talk to this guy. Guy. Oh, come on, man. What if it's true? We could have a case of Mars attack the killer to attack at the killer of tomatoes over here. Do you think someone will notice if I don't shower? Uh, they probably wouldn't. Unless if you haven't showered in a long time, then in which case, uh, okay. Door plate barracks. And this other door plate showers. Alright, before we head back inside. Yeah, let's go take a shower! They think I might need these hot showers. I must be going crazy. Hey, I'd miss... Hey, I'd miss hot showers too. Do you have... Do you have any idea how long does it take for me to actually sleep and get up in the morning and then go to... Put cold water on my face? It's fucking terrible. Hmm? It's my squad's medic. You should be able to give me some info about the operation. Uh, I believe his name is Adair. Maybe I should just call him Medic or something. Hey, Adair. Have we met? Not really. I was just transferred yesterday to the Fort Squad. So I was wondering- Oh, so you're Quell's replacement. You haven't been deployed before, have you? No, oh, it's gonna be my first time tomorrow. Well, you seem way too calm. Well, I've been waiting to stay for years. I've never even seen the sun before. Try not to stare at it too much unless you want to go blind. Eh? Don't know a thing about the surface, do you? I would get my hopes up if I were you. The surface is an awful place. Um, wouldn't you lighten up a little? This is not the time to relax. Man. Wow. What an obnoxious little prick. Eh, I don't know, man. I mean, talk to the person with experience, mind you. Maybe it could help. Alright, so let's go ahead to the... Place to sleep. Because, you know... Shit happens. Alright. Day 2. Intercontinental platform inside the core. Man, we've been going 15 minutes at this, so... Okay, more than 15 hours have passed already. For the first time, I'm sitting on the platform that connects me to the surface. This thing has been shaking the whole time, and it makes an ominous noise the moment I'm asleep. The guys look wiped out, to say the least. To be honest, I'm not feeling too well later. I haven't eaten anything during the whole ride, but I guess that's because they expected us to fall asleep. 
I'm already in a cranky mood, and to make things worse, I'm sitting right next to this guy. Hey. You should try to get some sleep. You know what? I'm too tired to pretend to be for like, screw this guy. Didn't you say this wasn't the time to relax? <laughs> what? Are you still mad about the thing I told you yesterday? You know, right now is not the time to- No, no, it's okay. I appreciate your honesty. Is that sarcasm or what? It's nothing like that. People are always kissing my ass as if I wouldn't take care of them if they pissed me off, but... Now let me save it the trouble. I'm a professional. I don't mix feelings with my job. Being my friend doesn't mean I t that I'll take care of you first. So tell me, weren't you trying to do the same thing yesterday? I tried talking to you because I don't know anyone in the squad. I couldn't care less that you happen to be an medic. Is that so? Well, I'm glad you are not cynical like the others. Man, I've got news for you. Uh, if you're still whistling, listen to me. There are a couple of things I wanted to tell you about the surface since you were transferred so suddenly. I guess you haven't been properly introduced. I just got the briefing today, so take a guess. Really? Well, you seem so curious about the sun that I thought I should warn you a little. To be honest, I really don't know if the sun can leave you blind, but what I do know is that it burns. It burns like pouring alcohol in an open wound. It can even toast your skin. It's quite fascinating. Why is this guy still talking? It's been like five, five minutes already. Come on, guy! He's starting to make a good impression again. So yeah, based on that, I wouldn't even try to look at it too much. Sounds to me the surface was awfully designed. Well, it certainly wasn't designed for us. So basically, we've been living in an un in under a rock our whole life, so yeah. What was that? Did we finally arrive, or...? Uh, even the lights went out. We have arrived. Everyone get ready. We're opening the hatch. As soon as the door that separated us from the outside world opened, a strong and musty odor filled my lungs. My uniform got all damp and got glued to my body as if a vacuum was sucking out the remaining air inside. The surface is gross. That's because you're in a swamp. So no fucking shit there, buddy. Ravens are your same gross. And okay, so apparently ravens are your metaphorical save point. Alright, let's save. Please remember my shit, Raven. Let's just keep on walking. Listen up, ladies and gentlemen. See those buildings up ahead? The something can't bear, but we need to clear the area first. We sent out the drones and are currently analyzing the area. So far, there are on 30, 30 targets. We need to act fast. I know you must be fatigued after the long trip, but this should be an easy task for the fourth squad. Any questions? Go to your position. Hi. Work? Can you hear me? Yep. Yep, what is it? Can you see the enemy base from there? Yeah, I see a couple of buildings up ahead. Okay, listen, the signal chamber's been deployed, and we're now about to cut off their power supply. And if ours be cut off, that'll be your chance to attack. Sure, just leave it to me. I'll go to my position. Okay, suddenly I just sprint like I am the motherfucking... Jeebus. Alright, power's up. Uh, there's no way the enemy did not notice that. Brooke, you should be able to see four targets from where you're standing. Are you ready? Ready as I can be. Alright. Let's check these fools. One down. Two. 
And another. Bitch. Alright. Air is clear. Get down the hill. You should be able to get a better view of their base. On my way. Let's go down that rope. And we did not do animations for it. Go fuck yourself. Alright. Let's save our progress again. Let's get this position. Okay, so apparently this is not our position. Fuck. Okay, let's cross this. And... Oh, I can't go there. I need to stay hidden. Alright. This spot should be fine. Alright, more people. One... Two... Three... Four. This is way too easy. No, one, no wonder everyone thinks highly of Coil. I should probably meet with the rest of the team. Is everyone here? I want you all to explore every building and every alley. Any target kept alive is a threat to the operation. Go, go, go! Alright, Sergeant. Let's save our progress. And talk to this guy. This building's empty, but you never know if they have some sort of a secret bunker. Well, I don't know, it's all to keep an eye on. Alright? Starving, and I already own my rations. Still have yours? Nap! Eight all of them. I know you're lying, but I've done the same. Actually, yeah. But then again, I... Uh, okay. Apparently, this is where the enemy started to blind, but Captain would land us inside. Well, shit. Alright. Enemy? Shit! I've... I've fucked up! Really fast. Gotta have some alcohol! <laughs> Gotta talk with the other teams. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, are you for fucking real? Alright, fine. If you want me to do it, then fine. I'll do it myself. I'm the fucking sniper. Sniper, I do my fucking job around here. Oh, like you assholes. Following an enemy in his own place. This is such an obvious trap. There's a bunch of tires. Do you see someone pass by just now? I can't see a thing, honestly. It's too dark in here. Alright. No one inside, we already took care of it. Well, shit. Alright. What about you? The red is up ahead. I didn't think he's there at least up to check. Well, fuck. I guess I really do have to chase after this guy. Doors are locked, but it seems to be empty. Smells really bad. They ran into a wall. Can you get an ambush or something? No. Wait, what's this? What? This is definitely a kid. There's no way he'd be armed. Sir, I found the kid. He seemed to be alone. Did you shoot him? What? No, but he's really scared, sir. What are you afraid for, soldier? Sir, he's just a kid. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking goddamn. Don't question your thing, your command, you damn boot. Are you for fucking real? You fucking killed the kid, you asshole! Hey, Risk, go somewhere else. Fucking hell, what's wrong with you? Whatever, I'm still gonna have your ass. Hmm? <laughs>
Where am I? Everything's so colorful though, it hurts my eyes. Hmm? Are you feeling better? Where am I? Uh, I guess you could call this a temporary aid station. You're carried here after you faded, but don't worry, it'll probably happen because you haven't slept or eaten anything. Anyway, the area is clear now, so you can sleep a bit longer if you need to. You still look a bit pale, though. I'll get you some water. Hey. Nice. Scary. To be honest, nobody's gotten injured yet, so I haven't much to do here. I mean, not that I want someone to get injured or anything. This guy's so weird. Sorry, tap water tastes funny, so I got one, one of these from the store. By the way, do you remember anything before you passed out? Yeah, I remember clearly. I don't mean to pressure you, but I was told you almost let one target escape. Uh, how do I put this kindly? Whatever. It could have cost us the mission, you know. What happened back there? I didn't feel like shooting. He was a civilian, a kid. He wasn't gonna attack me or anyone else, so I didn't know if I should shoot him at all. But why did he make exception for this target? Killing enemy soldiers is a different story. That's what I've been trained to do all my life, but killing a civilian for no reason? Wait a minute. What? We do have a reason? I'm surprised you haven't come this far and yet you haven't figured out what kind of operation we are into. I thought you would have realized but at the time the targets weren't fighting back. Oh! Wait, none of my targets were soldiers? Are we at the long location? What the hell's going on? Don't believe this! I don't get it. Why would Poland need our help then? How could they possibly benefit from killing civilians? Besides, with such a dirty job, wouldn't it be better if we were using their uniforms? Have you seen any Polish soldiers here? There's no war going on in Kaliningrad, Kaliningrad, Rourke. Huh? And we were sent here to change that. This makes no sense. I, I can't even process all this shit right now. Why Poland? Why Russia? I just don't get it. I'm afraid it's all I know. But what are we then? Some kind of terrorists? It's called a false flag operation. How's that any different? And how can you be so calm knowing that? Don't get me wrong, I don't like this either, but what else can we do? Go and try to kill the captain you want to leave. You can always bail, right? Let's get out of here. Don't be stupid. Um, don't be stupid, we just get executed for des desertion in a second. <laughs> At this point, that wouldn't be so bad. Seriously, you need to calm down a little. You aren't thinking clearly. This dog tag. Even name on it has nothing to do with me. Would they actually know if it belonged to me after I die? Here, I'll save you the hassle. You're insane, you know that? Just a bit. I don't plan to get caught, though. Well! That was, a. Uh, I'm gonna have to fake uh, something into... 200 rubles! Yay, I need money! Mm, pass him off, okay. Oh, the pages are empty. And finally, give me my sniper rifle! So, save our progress right here, so, yeah, this is an actually a pretty fun game. Guys, check it out. It's on, it's on Game Jolt right now. You can still download it. And I hope that if I ever get money for the current, or the full version, and eh, I hope I will be able to, like, you know, make a full playthrough out of it. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more from me, click that subscribe button, and... Leave a like and comment up below. I always love to hear your opinion on how I can improve this channel overall. And I'll see you guys in the next video. But till then, keep on shocking. Boop!